Hello mga kawising, welcome back to my channel and again it's me MLG, your science teacher and welcome for another episode of Science Learning Session. Of course, we will be having Science Talk. Alright. And for today's vlog, we'll be discussing about one form of energy. Um, aside from potential energy is of course we have kinetic energy. So tara, let's study about kinetic energy. Again, as we all know, before I begin my discussions, I, I always emphasize the learning competencies of the lesson today. So, the learning competency is that identify and explain the factors that affect potential and kinetic energy. So, these are the objectives. Determine kinetic energy, number two. Determine the factors that affect the kinetic energy gained by an object. And the last one. Calculate the kinetic energy of an object. So those are the objectives that we need to achieve in this lesson. Alright, so as we all know, we do have two states of energy. One is potential energy and the other one is kinetic energy. So my question is, what's the difference between potential energy and kinetic energy? Well, we know that potential energy is a stored energy and kinetic energy is energy in motion. So let me define first what is kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is energy that is in motion. Moving water and wind are good examples of kinetic energy. Electricity is also kinetic energy. Even though you can see it happen, electricity involves electrons moving in conductors. Alright, now that we have learned already the definition about kinetic energy, so let's proceed now to the Let's Apply Inner Module. To be able to identify the different factors affecting kinetic energy, the vehicle shown on figure 4.1 and 4.2 can be compared. Obviously, in the picture, in the first picture, figure 4.1, that is a truck, and the real one is motorbike. And we have this guide questions. Which vehicle do you think has a greater mass? Number two, which vehicle do you think can run the fastest? And number three, base and comparison what are the factors that can affect the kinetic energy of an object? Obviously, by looking at the picture, so it has big differences. Alright, so what does it mean? Comparing the two, which do you think has a greater mass? Obviously, the truck has a greater mass compared to motorbike. And for number two, which vehicle do you think can run fastest? Would it be truck and motorbike? So what do you think the answer? Of course. Motorbike can run fast aside from lesser mass, it has greater velocity compared to the truck. And number three, based on comparison, what are the factors that can affect the kinetic energy of an object? Obviously, we have mass and velocity. By the way, before we proceed to the calculation or sample problem, I'd like to stress um, the concept that kinetic energy is equal to 0.5 times mass times velocity squared. And it's just the same with Ka is equal to 1 half times m times v squared. Maybe you're wondering why is it 0.5 because 1 divided by 2 is equal to 0.5. That's it. So let's now proceed to the sample problem. Number 1, which is uh, reflected in your module, we have here. What is the kinetic energy of a 300 kilogram roller coaster car? that is moving with a speed of 15 meter per second. Well, well, as a reminder, before we have our calculation, do not forget to use GRESA. GRESA means given, required, equation, solution, and the answer. All right, so the first problem, obviously that the given is 300 kilogram. For the mass, velocity or speed is equal to 15 meter per second. Here's the solution. Ke is equal to mv squared divided by 2. That's the formula. So kinetic energy is equal to 300 kilogram times 15 times 15. Why did we do multiply by itself? Because as you can see, the value is being squared. So same with the unit. So it could be m squared and s squared because m times m in your, in your mathematics s times s so we have m squared you have to add the exponent right and so we have here 300 kilogram times 225 meters squared per second squared divided by 2 and as i mentioned earlier you need to multiply 15 by itself 
That's why you have 225 meters squared S squared divide by 2 and you get the final answer of 33,750 joule. Alright, so maybe you're conf so maybe you're asking why is it sir that we have kilogram dot meter squared S squared and then the final answer is expressed in terms of joule. So take note that it's the same. One joule is equivalent to one kilogram dot meter squared per second squared. That is the conversion. Alright, let's move to the second problem. Ruben, a 45 kilogram man, is a platform diver at the ocean park. If the kinetic energy of Ruben before he hits the pool of water is 3,500 joule or kilogram dot meter squared s squared, what is his speed? Note, in this problem, you're asked to find the speed rather than its kinetic energy. Thus, you need to derive the formula. So, in this particular blog, I am not going to teach you about derivation. So, I am having a separate blog for that, deriving quantities, a deriving formula. Okay, so we have kinetic energy is equal to mv squared divided by 2. And again, so since you're asked to find the speed, that's why we have v is equal to the square root of 2 times kinetic energy divided by m. So it has a process why it became like that. So uh, my tips that you need to review your topic, the topic in math like extracting the square root. So that's the hint. That's the clue. Maybe you could ask your math teacher about that. So we have we're given kinetic energy is equal to 3,500 kilogram dot meter squared per second squared, and and your mass is 45 kilogram. So applying the formula, we have V. So we have two times 3,500 kilogram dot meter squared per second squared divided by 45 kilogram so what we're going to do is that you have to multiply first all the values in the numerator so 2 times 3500 kilograms so you got 7000 divided by 45 kilogram so you have here 155.56 the square root of 155.56 meters squared s squared so so the speed is 12.47 meter per second so that's it. Any question? Do you have some question with regard to the sample problem? So if none, let's have a wrap up. Again, in this particular lesson you have learned about we have two states of energy. We have kinetic and potential energy. One is potential which means stored energy and the other one kinetic is energy of motion or energy in motion. Okay, in calculating kinetic energy or Ke is equal to one half mv squared. Alright, so what is the underlying principle of kinetic energy? In this lesson, kinetic energy taught us that the faster an object moves, the more kinetic energy it has. The greater the mass of a moving object, the more kinetic energy it has. Meaning to say, kinetic energy depends on both mass and velocity. And that's it. Those are the things that we need to consider about kinetic energy and to test whether you have learned something from this vlog i'd like to give you a challenge question and i am encouraging everyone to please solve the problem and if you know the answer type it in the comment box all right this is the problem all right problem number one what is the kinetic energy of a three kilogram ball that is rolling two meter per second and for the next question what is the velocity of a 500 kilogram elevator that has 4,000 joule of energy? Okay, those are the two sample problems that we need to solve. By the way, I am encouraging everyone to please answer the question and then type it in the comment box. And if you got it right, so you will be included in my raffle. Okay, I'll be having a raffle. Those um, persons who got the correct answer. Okay, please watch out to my next vlog and find out if you win or not again we have ended another episode of science talk with me your science teachers or m so